if there only was an Azure CLI for dummies. Dana Neff here. Welcome to the channel dedicated for aspiring Azure administrators like you and me that are trying to know ops and, well, master the Microsoft Cloud. Thanks for being here. You know, I look at these books, the, you know, for dummy series, and I sometimes wonder if it dumbs down um, or it almost insults us when we read this, you know, like who wants to hear, you know, Azure CLI for dummies. But the reality is there's actually a, a really interesting mode for Azure CLI that makes it much easier. So if you are really new and you want to have that experience that's really simplified, we've got you covered in the Azure CLI. Check out AZ Interactive. All right, let's jump into the AZ interactive mode. What you see here, unlike the normal Azure CLI, where you need to know all the parameters, AZ interactive will help you and educate you throughout the experience that you use. So if you take a look down on the bottom here, you'll watch as I start typing things, it will give me suggestions and give you opportunities to learn all the nooks and crannies and in the individual commands and parameters that are available. So as an example here, I want to just start by changing my account. So you'll notice it's immediately once I started typing account, it's telling me it can manage Azure subscription information. But if I don't know the commands I need, so in my case here, I want to change. So I'm going to set. You'll notice the drop downs give me the option of what is available as parameters here. And as I go, you can see, hey, you know what? It is a required parameter to have a subscription. So if I select that, and if I don't know the name or my subscription ID, no problem. They'll automatically go and figure it out for you. So in my case here, I want to jump over to my Visual Studio Enterprise demo account. And there we go. I'm now in my subscription. I can do the same thing with pretty much any command. And if I wasn't sure, I could just use letters. Like I could hit the letter G and it'll show me everything that starts with a G. In this case here, graph and group. Maybe I want to list the groups that are here. And you'll notice that in light gray, it's actually showing you what a sample example could be. In this case, list minus O table. But it also shows you a dropdown of all the different commands I could run. So maybe I will do the list minus O. So it's helping to educate you as you're going through that. You'll also notice down on the bottom, there's examples. So it'll actually show you if I wanted to look for anything in this group that's in the location of West US, there's the command right there. So it's helping to train you on how to use the individual commands. And it's as simple as that. So let's say I want to do something more complicated, like I wanted to create a virtual machine, but I don't yet know what I want to do there. Well, we've got to start off by creating a group, All right? So I'm going to actually do that right now. I'm going to create this group and it's going to show me everything that's required. So I need to have a name. I'm going to call it no ops and a location. And I'm going to now I get a list of all the different locations I can put it in. Let's put it in Canadian Central today. And there it is. It's now created for me. So now that I've got that, I'm going to go and create a VM in there. So I type VM and now it gives me all my options. Well, in my case here, I want to do a create and I'm going to need to know the name of it, I'm going to call it COPS VM. And I'm going to need to know the group. That's a required field. That's in that no ops group. And I'm going to want to have an image. You see down on the bottom here, there's lots of examples here. Like if I wanted just to do a Ubuntu um, image, it's right there. If I want to have a certain red hat, I want to set the public IP. All this kind of stuff can be provided for you. And what's nice is as you're typing it in, it can help. Here's a list of all the different VMs that I have access to in this data center. So here's this Ubuntu one. And now I need to know some other commands that might be needed. Here's all the other ones. Well, here's one as an option. I need a username. And in my case, I want to also generate SSH keys and I'll hit enter. 
And that's it. Throughout that whole process, it's helping and educating me on all the different commands and everything that's there. It's simple as that. Go through it. Explore it. Try different things. What you'll find is that through this process, you'll be able to not only understand and find new commands, you can start seeing exactly what it is that is needed as optional and required parameters. And there's lots of examples that are provided at the bottom to help you to understand what's going on. Hey, it may not be Azure CLI for dummies, but AZ Interactive is an awesome tool to help you explore the Azure CLI and get help so you can see all the nooks and crannies on how it all works together. I hope you found that useful. Let me know by hitting the like button so that I can tell that you're enjoying this content. And hey, smash the subscribe button so that every time I release a new video, you can be made aware of it. And more importantly, thanks for staying and watching. I really do appreciate that time. Leave me a comment if you have any other questions or maybe an idea of a future show that you'd like to see. Until then, we'll see you in the next episode.